All right then folks, so we're outputting all of this stuff to the browser inside this template right here and we're using a for each loop and we're also using a for each loop nested within that. Now, I wanna take a quick sidestep to the left for a second, just to go over syntax for a minute, because I think when you start to nest loops and conditional statements like if statements, then it can get pretty tricky keeping track of these curly braces where they close and what they're closing for, etc. Now, there is an alternative syntax that we can use that is more explicit, and I think it helps to keep track of where they are a bit more. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is convert these into the other syntax versions. So instead of using curly braces now, what we do is use a colon at the top and then where the closing curly brace was, we'd say end and then the name of the loop, so for each, like so. And that to me looks a bit more explicit. We know it's ending the for each because a curly brace could close anything in reality and we'd have to match it up. And when you have loads of different nested things, it's hard to match those up all the time. So that's all we did. We replaced the opening curly brace with a colon and the closing curly brace with the end statement for whatever loop or condition that we're using, okay? So we'll do the same thing over here. So the opening curly brace, replace that with a colon and the closing curly brace, I'm gonna say end for each, like so. So if I save this now, I'm gonna check this out in the browser to make sure it still works, and it does, everything still works. So this is the kind of syntax I'm gonna use going forward. Now, I just wanted to do another quick example using an if statement as well to show you how this works. So let's do PHP, and let's do an if statement in here. So I'm gonna say if, and then in brackets, the count of pizzas is, I don't know, greater or equal to, to two then what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna use curly braces here to begin with, what we're gonna do in this case is output some kind of p tag saying that there's two pizzas or more. So let me just close off this PHP tag and uh, the if statement first of all, so PHP, and then we're gonna end that if statement, and then we'll output a p tag if this is the case saying there are two or more pizzas, okay? Now, I also want to do an else, so let me do that as well. And in this case, and we need to not do that, that's one of the things you need to get used to doing, making sure you have a separate tag, a separate PHP tag for your closing bracket like so. And out here, we'll output there are less than two pizzas. Okay, so this should work. We should see this in the browser to begin with over here and we can see it, there are two or more pizzas. If we change this to three, then obviously it's gonna to change to this. There are less than, oops, let's change these to three this time. There are less than three pizzas. We should see that on the screen. There are less than three pizzas, cool. Okay, so again, this looks a bit messy with all the different curly braces and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do is instead, take off this top curly brace. I'm gonna take off this curly brace here, take this one off and take this one off. Now, we do a colon here, and over here, we just say else colon. We don't need to close it off with anything. And then down here, we just say end if like so. Okay, that's all there is to it. So we have our colon for the if statement, our colon for the else statement, and then end if at the bottom. And I think that looks better to me. I can tell what these are more. So if I save it, and preview, we should still get the same result, okay? So a very quick lesson there, just to take that sidestep and show you this alternative syntax for when you're outputting this different logic in your HTML templates.